I forgot the name, who is the editor of the Muslim India. Sayyid Shahabuddin. Sayyid Shahabuddin. Correct. Sayyid Shahabuddin was there and there were other couple of people in Delhi and I was alone in Bombay. That too was not a good experience because I was hardly allowed to speak only twice. And when I said something, it wasn't heard there because the microphone is in their hand. So though it was a live show, I could only speak when I was allowed to speak. See, normally in a panel discussion, live when I speak, the microphone is on, no one can cut me. But here I was in Bombay, they were in Delhi. And I was hearing from the headphone, which was through a mobile, I think, I don't know. So there were questions asked, though it was a live show. It was a live show, they were telecast live. But because of this problem that my microphone didn't work until they pressed the button. So there too, it was not a good experience. But because it was live, it didn't do much damage. Only thing that, fine, Dr. Zaki Naik didn't say much or wasn't given a portion since it was a live show. It was being telecast live. Because of that, I felt that there wasn't much damage except that I was not given enough opportunity. Uh, they say twice hurt, uh, third time shy. But then again you jumped into the ring. You went in and you appeared on the Rashtra Sahara's RKB show. And its host, you know, uh, RK Bajaj, uh, most people believe he is usually very critical about Muslims. That's what I understand. Why? The reason I jumped for the third time was, it was an interview. The first two, the first was a panel discussion or a talk show with the live audience. They will telecast later on. The second was a live telecast. So both were bad experiences. The third was a TV interview. Now as I mentioned earlier, that in a TV interview, less damage can be done, but damage can be done. So initially I refused, but when I came to know it's a live telecast, then I thought, fine, the damage that can be done is less, they cannot edit my speech. So because it was a live telecast, and whatever that I was saying in the studios of Sahara, it was going live, I did not mind attending it, even though it was RKB. And I should say that, though Mr. RK Bajaj did ask questions and tried to promote a view which he knows will create differences in the Muslim audience, and he did ask such questions, but because it was live, overall the show was good because I could answer what I wanted to answer and there was no editing post-show. So based on that, I went for the RKB show the third time. And then last year, uh, we had Shekhar Gupta, the editor-in-chief of Indian Express, interviewing you on his very famous show, Walk the Talk. Uh, was it because uh, you were selected among the 100 most powerful Indians uh, by the Indian Express? 100 most powerful Indians? That or is some other reason you agreed to go on his interview? And what, what was the experience there? See, normal my answer when anyone wants to take my interview. Fine, as you asked me, Indian channels have appeared. These are the exclusive TV interviews I'm talking about. There are many snippets I've given to various other Indian channels which I used to give earlier on ETV Urdu and many other snippets. You know, asking my view on certain issues. Even that, I stop now. Because when I give an answer for five minutes, they edit one minute and show. So besides these five, I've been on many other Indian channels. But mainly these are small comments on certain issues taking place, whether it be on education for Muslims or whether such topics. Coming to this, why did I accept the interview? Especially because Shekhar Gupta puts many a prime minister and top leaders of the world in a very hot seat. That's why we are, we are asking you this special so question. So the first time when they asked me to appear for the interview, my answer was no. But then my colleagues and my friends told, you know, that Shekhar Gupta, Walk the Talk, is one of the best interviews that is held in the country. It has the highest TRP. And I, because I don't watch much of the channels, though I'm a man of the media, I appear on TV channels, but I personally don't watch much of television. I did not know what was Walk the Talk until my friends and my colleagues, they told me, it is a very important interview conducted. It's one of the best in which the editor-in-chief of Indian Express, Shekhar Gupta, he conducts this interview. And he's a man of integrity. And he normally interviews presidents, prime ministers, and celebrities of a very high level. And he's a man who you can trust. But before I conducted the interview, I saw to it that I spoke to him. And one week before he conducted the interview, he came from Delhi and he spoke to me for more than an hour. And when we interacted, I asked him that after you record this program, which will be talk show while walking, 
walk the talk. I asked him that will it be shown completely or will you edit it? He said it will be unedited. You can take from me my word that 99% be unedited, maybe a little bit here or there if you have to, you know, fit in the time duration. So he gave me the word that he will not edit. And you see to it that my view is not altered. So because he gave this word to me and I checked up his background and I trusted my colleague, I agreed for the interview which he came to Bombay again from Delhi and we had the talk on the Wurley sea face where it was again for approximately one hour with the ads, it was approximately 45 to 50 minutes. And I believe it was the best experience that I had with the Indian TV channels. And I trust that Mr. Shekhar Gupta, he's a man of his word. And when I saw the interview, I was very happy. He did not edit anything. He did not change my view. Though, the same questions that were so challenging were asked by him. He gave me chance to clarify. I gave my point of view. And believe me, he was a man of his word. He did not edit anything. And he kept it as it is. And that's the reason I liked that show. And that show, next day after it was telecast for the first time, it came as a full-page article on all 21 or 22 editions of Indian Express throughout India. So really that was, besides coming on the television satellite channel, it even came as an article, a full-page article, in all the editions of Indian Express. That's really courageous. And uh, that's what makes India in a one way very great. You know, when you have courageous people like Shekhar Gupta presenting various viewpoints for what they are, whether the Islamic viewpoint, whether it's the Maoist viewpoint, whether it's a communist, and difference. And we have to really congratulate him on that. Talk. Why, what, where, when, how. It's something we all ought to know, whether we are a host or whether we are the interviewee in a discussion, whether we are in a panel, a team, being asked questions in our own personal settings at home or in public forums reaching out to the world. But more important so, how upright, with what integrity, with what sincerity we say what we say and do we do what we say makes a lot of difference in the world we live in. So we get on with our analysis of today. TV talk shows, how are they conducted, what impact they have on us, and how people pass their critical, approving, and mixed comments on them. We left off before the break on the topic, the last TV talk show Dr. Zakir had attended. Dr. Zakir Naik was invited by one of the leading TV hosts in India, Barkhadat on the NDTV program, Breaking the Stereotype, Muslim Identity and Popular Culture. Many of us saw the program, many were displeased with it. Some felt it was okay. Some were very happy about it. But Dr. Zakir Naik carries a respect of a scholar, a knowledgeable and wise one at that on Islam as well as on comparative religion. And we had hundreds and hundreds of emails expressing displeasure on the fact that being more knowledgeable, his analogy didn't find right conclusions in the talk show. Neither did he have adequate opportunity to present the truth. On this we come to the broader question. How was this talk show conducted? Before we ask Dr. Zakir Naik himself about the program, his comments, his introspection, I would like to present the feelings, the comments, the analysis from the hundreds of emails that we have received, mostly from the NDTV website itself and many from the Facebook as well as a few from the other websites before our audience.